Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Mohammad Adnan, and in this video, we are going to discuss about merge versus append queries in Power Query Editor in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. To use this feature, first of all, we need to go to Transform Data. Home. It is available in the Home tab transform data click on that it will open up the power query editor so here the tables i have here the student table three students are there and they are studying in three classes the next table i have is student with the subjects and the marks they are scored in the exams and another table i have the student with language subjects and these are the main subjects and these are the language subjects and the marks they have scored the situation is i want to combine these two tables into one for that i have two options here either i need to merge or i need to append for this case append is the best option the difference between these two is in the home tab if you go to the last one combine you will have two options merge and append basically merge will work for the columns and append will work for the rows these are the basic two different between these two let's have a look at how these things works now if you look at these two table the student main table has only three columns student subject and marks and in student language marks it has three columns so I mean four columns student subject marks and grade let's do append here so if you click on this one append new queries it will open up a dialog box here you want to join one table or two table the base table is student marks and table to append is the language if you want to combine two or more tables then you can use this one three or more tables add the tables from left to right and you can manage up and down here to make the default one so in this case i'm going to use only these two options so primary is the student marks table and the secondary is student language marks so click ok it will create one more table here append two student subject and marks three of the column is matching with the primary table so it brings up all the data here so look at this last column it has created one more column here as the grade the null is they have given the null value here because this column is not available on the primary table but it is available on the secondary table so this is the advantage of the append queries you can not only append the rows even you can bring the column which is not available in the primary table so clear right now let's go to the merge one uh, the student table i have to show sam and vijay and the classes are there i want to add the class after this one so what we'll do is we'll just click on the student table and then go to merge here you have two options merge queries merge query as new i'll prefer to go with the new it will again bring up the pop up dialog stating the student marks these are the tables and i want to add the student table so i'm just clicking on the primary columns student and student it is the left auto join matching all rows matching from second okay if you look at this at the bottom the selection matches six of six rows from the first table because this is a primary table and this uh, transaction table right okay so if you click ok then it will create a new table as mess 2 it brings up the main table here and on the last it will create a column stating a table here as student table and you will find a small icon here you just need to click on that it will bring up all the columns available in that table 
you want to bring it all together you can use this one you have two options here expand and aggregate aggregate is nothing but discount and some it will bring up here we don't need this one so i just want to need this one and there are student are there and class are there student is already available here and we already made a relationship between these two columns so it is not necessary to bring the student here so i'm just removing this this class i'm taking one use original column name as prefix so i don't want to change the column name here click ok it just brings up this student class on the heading and student class as i said before append is basically used for the rows and merge it is used for add columns this is a quick short video about this merge and append queries in powerful power query editor in power bi if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video